let me explain you the move simulator function of Rotoline Touch. Um, what we have in front of us is the alignment of a motor to the pump which it is driving. We see in the middle of the picture in numbers the amount of misalignment which we have both for vertical and for horizontal. We see those larger red arrows besides the numbers indicate the direction in which we need to correct vertical. The smaller arrows indicate in which direction we need to correct the motor in horizontal. So basically we, we need to move the motor up and we need to correct it in horizontal towards us. On the lower right side we see the results at the coupling. We see that we have a considerable misalignment. For example in vertical we see that the right shaft in the point of power transfer is down for minus 1.23 mm compared to the left shaft of the pump. In order to use the move simulator what we do is we change into the 2D screen. Here we have now the chance to go for vertical or horizontal. We go for vertical first because we do the vertical correction first as any vertical correction affects horizontal again. So we first correct vertical. What we see now is we see the two values of front foot and back foot. So both front feet need to go up for 1.8 mm and both back feet need to go up for 2.14 mm. In order to find out how far we really have to go, how much we really have to shim, we use the move simulator that is on the right side. The button I tip on it. What we see in front of us in this green field with plus 0 0.00 is the shimming simulator for the front feet. What I'm gonna do now is I add shims by pressing this button, this arrow up, add shims in the amount it is required. I always add a shim of one tenth mm. You see I do this until I have 1.8. That would be the value to overcome the misalignment at the front feet. Then I change by tipping on the field in the right side to the back feet. Again I press the arrow up and add shims with a thickness of 0.1 mm. You see I do this until I'm approaching the current misalignment and when I obviously have reached now 2.1 mm to be shimmed at both back feet, you see that the quality criterion turns into a smiling face now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add shims at the front feet of 1.8 mm both feet and at the back feet 2.1 mm at each of the two back feet and the calculation what we have to expect then is shown on lower right side. You see that for vertical we will be in an excellent tolerance then with regard to our alignment. What else I can do here? I could even change the thickness of the shims by pressing here on left and right arrow. Basically the value of 0.1 mm is a suitable value to use the move simulator function.